hope it's good how you doing how you feeling i'm Voki hippie welcome or welcome back if you're new here go ahead and subscribe it's free and it means the world to me okay go ahead and like while you down there <laughs> anyway <laughs> today's video is uh, uh an onion hair mask um now this this was deeper than quarantine <laughs> when I started this. It was when just anything sounded like a good idea. Probably like two months ago, I did not know this was a thing. And I saw my sister's YouTube video, Just Pearl, where she was taking down a protective style and she like did a hair mask right after. And I was just like, what's that? <laughs> so I went down a rabbit hole of um, onion hair masks here on YouTube. Their benefits, yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna put them up on the screen just like information so y'all know where i'm at okay go ahead and read it okay so that's where i'm at i saw all that information about onion for hair and for your scalp and i was just like oh okay so i was just like you know what i'm not going anywhere <laughs> why not try it out for about a month um my first mask was april 27th my last mask was about May 21st, and I recorded my results on about May 24th or 5th. I'm gonna put the dates up on there. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my um, before, <laughs> okay, my initial measurements. I'm gonna show you how I made the masks. I'm gonna show you my results, and then we gonna come back. Okay, these are the measurements of my hair on April 27th, just before my first mask. The back of my head is just about 8.3 inches. I measured my hair multiple times just to try and make sure I got the most accurate measurements. But I'm just going to show you once, so it's not redundant. The middle piece is about 10 inches, and then the front is... 10 inches as well now the mask three ingredients olive oil cayenne pepper and onions don't mind my hands i was writing a test so there's just ink all over cut up the onions put in the um pepper and the oil and just blended it for about 30 seconds to a minute till i got that orange little pulp and then I took the these old stockings, cut off the foot part, <laughs> I put the little pulp and guts in there and squeezed it out. And this is what I got. This liquid is what we use. Okay, this was May 24th. This was my last mask. If you have a spray bottle that works, this would be so much easier, but... It just kept getting stuck in the nozzle thing so <laughs> i ended up just pouring it on my head you're gonna want to put it directly on your scalp massage it a little bit and then draw it through your hair just make sure it gets through your hair strands but most importantly your scalp this is onion and chili do not get it in your eye <laughs> no matter what you do do not get it in your eye this shit burns my guy it is messy but it doesn't stain one wash and you are good i put a shower cap on that shower cap burst by the way it popped so just use a plastic bag this is may 28th four days after my lost mask the back of my hair is now 10 inches that is literally 1.7 inches like damn i was shook <laughs> now the front of my hair it was a little bit confusing because i kept getting eight inches i think i measured three or four times once i got 10 inches and i was just like no 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 no. but it kept coming up eight inches and some change i guess it broke a little bit i'll talk about that later I'm just trying to show y'all like different parts of the, sp the front of my head so <laughs> I'm just trying to prove to myself I'm not crazy really it, I was really confused I was just like what the frick man now the middle piece
11 inches that is one inch longer than before so i've never monthly recorded the hair growth of my hair so i decided that the typical average half an inch is what i was going by so if by the end of the first month i didn't get up to half an inch or like barely more than that i'd be like yeah no it didn't work but i got an inch honey okay an inch in a month that's pretty good there are two popular methods on youtube on how to make this moss um there's the boiling and squishing <laughs> okay where you boil the onions and you like mash it up and then you put it in a, like a stocking cap or whatever and just remove the liquid and there's the blending one which i just showed you put the guts inside the stocking remove the liquid right the first two times i did the blending method just with olive oil the third time was load shedding um but your girl was busy i did not have time to reschedule wash day so i um used the gas stove did the little boiling method with cayenne pepper the fourth time which is what i recorded for y'all it was the onion the olive oil and the cayenne pepper i keep trying to say paprika <laughs> but it was the cayenne pepper and i guess the pepper is to increase the little heat action in your hair but um if i do it again i'm probably gonna do it again <laughs> i'm going to use the lost method because on youtube other um hair people say that's the method that worked best for them so if you want to try it unless you have a really sensitive scalp i suggest the last method it worked <laughs> okay but this added about a good hour and a half to my wash day routine because i would wash use the onion mask wash again and then deep condition now I've, i saw a lot of people on youtube going straight from like wash mask deep conditioner and chow okay um no <laughs> no um deep conditioners smell good but it's the equivalent of not showering and just using deodorant like you can still smell what's underneath it, it did not work for me okay um the first time i tried it like all the other videos to just wash mask deep condition and i work out a little bit okay I'm, I'm not in the gym just hitting it but i got my little yoga mat my little weights and i work up a little bit of a sweat and the first time i worked out i would be sniffing around like what's cooking <laughs> the first mask was olive oil and onion and you know that's the beginning of a bomb ass meal <laughs> so i would be like what's that <laughs> so no <laughs> no I'm glad I did not have no place to go and I did not leave the house because I'm not trying to be walking around smelling like onions. No, thank you. No, ma'am. So the whole process of making the onion mask, putting it on and adding an extra wash. That's another hour and a half to my wash day routine. Did it work? Did the onion mask work? Yes, it did. Um, is it going to be part of my wash day routine? No. I don't have that hour and a half every single wash day. I might do it once or twice a month because it worked. <laughs> but um, it's, 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 not, it's not an everyday thing. Okay, we don't have the time. Okay, so with my results, right? The back, um, the middle of my hair definitely grew, but the front did not. If anything, it seemed like it, get, it got shorter. So um, I just came to the conclusion my hair was breaking. I gave it a trim. I put it in braids. And here we are. <laughs> So, um, if you ever notice your hair is not growing, like you check after a month or two and it's the same length or even seems shorter, you need a trim baby because your split ends are breaking off your hair as fast or faster than it's growing. Hence the trim and the protective style. But it worked. I just wish I did it after a trim to see the like real results, like no breakage, no nothing. So would i recommend it yes would i recommend just um doing the mask then deep conditioning no don't do that sis don't play yourself don't walk around smelling like onions um <laughs> wash afterwards and you're good it's it's not bad funny enough i heard no other youtuber talk about the little onion smell they were just cool with it <sighs> okay <laughs> so, to conclude yes it works 
but wash after I, I don't know what these other youtubers are doing i don't know why they're not washing it out their hair that thing stank okay but anyway i hope you're doing well i hope you're blessed i hope you're staying safe okay if no one's told you today i love you subscribe and i'll see you later bye